concrete and cement is such a high-end look and it's one of those things you could really recreate and have that look for less. So for this next DIY, you want to get some quick crete. You can buy this at Lowe's or Home Depot. You're also going to need some silicone muffin tins. Really, you can buy these everywhere. I'll link to the ones I got down below. Start by putting your quick crete into a disposable bowl and then you're going to add in water. Now, I don't ever measure this, but you want your quick crete to be at kind of a pudding consistency. So where it pours in nicely. So just add water until you're at that consistency. Next, you're going to fill up your silicone containers till they're about maybe three fourths of the way full. Then you're going to add in tea lights into your silicone trays. Fill up two more of the silicone trays with quick crease, leaving those without a tea light in them. Now I'm also going to be using a smaller silicone tray and I'm gonna fill that up the same way with my quick crease. If you need more, just mix it up. And then I'm gonna put those in the smaller containers about three fourths of the way up and then put in my tea lights in half of them. You wanna leave three of them that do not have the tea lights inside. Let everything sit and dry for about three hours. Then you can pop them out of the molds. And then what I did was let them continue to dry overnight. The next day I came back in and now I'm going to glue them together. So the glue I'm gonna be using is E6000 and I'm going to flip one of the ones without a tea light over. I'm gonna add E6000 to the back. I'll put one of the cement molds with the tea light on top of the E6000. Now I did have a little bit of trouble with these kind of sliding off. So you may have to put some support pieces on the edge while these dry. Let them dry for a few more hours and then you have decorative candles that you can set out in your decor using the cement and they look really high end. Make sure you paint that subscribe button. If you're watching me on your phone, the subscribe button is right next to my channel name. Click the red subscribe button so it goes from red to gray. You can also click the notification bell so you can see more videos like my Dollar Tree DIYs, home packs, and room makeovers. So one of my favorite things to do is find just odd things at Dollar Tree that I would probably never buy and turn them into fun decor pieces. So that's what I'm gonna do with this hello sign. So when I saw this sign, I thought this would make a really cool sculptural piece. So I'm gonna start by using my wire cutters to bend out the wires on this hello sign to make them as straight as possible. Once I got them as straight as I could, now I'm gonna try to bend them up so they almost make kind of like a horseshoe shape. And then when I get to the top, I'm gonna cut them off so they're as even as possible. Now you may already have one of these beaded wreaths on hand. I know they were really popular a month or two ago. They come in a couple different finishes. The one I'm gonna be using is the one that's in like the medium tone finish. And I'm gonna start by using my wire cutters to cut through the wreath because I wanted to use the beads that were already on there. Then I'm just going Going to simply take the beads off and loop them onto my horseshoe ring figurine. Once I got it completely covered, when I got to the last one at the top on either side, I added in hot glue to secure the beads in place. And here's a look at how this piece turned out in my decor. Dollar Tree has done such a good job recently of giving us so many more wood crafting items. So I wanted to do a DIY with some of those wood crafts. So I picked up two of the wood blocks. A lot of times when you get them, they're very rough. So I started by sanding them just to get all the rough edges off. Next, I'm gonna use some wood beads. These wood beads are from Amazon, but they do have them at Dollar Tree as well. I'm gonna hot glue the wood beads along the base of one of my plaques. And then I'll add hot glue to the top of the wood beads and place the other plaque on the top. Now, originally I thought I wanted to put some legs on here. So I had these large wood beads from Amazon. I hot glued those on and I realized these are way too big. So I ended up pulling them off and putting on some smaller beads. The ones that I used on the inside, I used those for the legs. I also originally thought I was going to paint this, but when I looked at it, I thought, you know what? This would look great stained. So to stain this, I'm gonna be using the color golden oak and I like to use a foam brush whenever I stain. I'm gonna place the stain with my foam brush onto the tray and then any excess I'll immediately pull off with a paper towel. 
let that dry completely and i think these are great to use in your bathroom or your kitchen to put your soap container on Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.